Hi all, this is a third tutorial about how to use OpenGL in Java. Uh, so uh, let's start Eclipse and create a new package. New package will be uh, layer around the OpenGL lesson 03. Finish. Let's uh, create classes. Uh, we can copy them and paste here. So uh, let's open app class. We see that it is in the lesson 03 now and app root, which is our 3D engine, which uh, we has, have created on a, in our previous lesson. Lessons uh, also is now in uh, lesson 03. So let's start this application and see how it works. So it's dotted. It. And we see that we can rotate our uh, feature along uh, Y and X axis. Okay, let's close it. So now we will study how to uh, create a 3D object in a space. Uh, so let me show you. So let's assume that uh, uh, we are in the space and uh, this is our x axis. Let's mark it x. This is, oh sorry, this is our y axis. Let's mark it y. And this is our z axis. Let's mark it Z. So, okay. Mm. So, uh, uh, this is the center of our world. Here are coordinates with uh, values less than zero, less than zero, and less than zero, and here are greater than zero. So let's create a cube. Go to the cube. It has uh, one polygon. It has, oh, sorry, it has another polygon. And of course, it consists of Ages. Okay, so pol uh, cube consists of uh, eight uh, points. Let's uh, define their coordinates. So this point has coordinates x equals to one, y is equals to one, and z is equals to minus one. This point is 1, minus 1 for y, and minus 1 for z. This point is 1, minus 1, and 1. This point is minus 1, 1, minus 1. This point. This point is uh, minus one, one, and one. One is last one is for z coordinate. This point is minus one, minus one, and one. And this point is minus one, minus one, minus one. And the last eight point, eighth point is. Uh, one, one, and one. Okay. So let's check. Uh, let's check. This is one, one, and one. This is one, one, minus one for z. 
this is minus 1 for x, 1 for z, y, and minus 1 for z, minus 1, 1, and 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, and minus 1, 1, minus 1 for y, 1 for z, and this is minus 1 for x, minus 1 for y, and 1 for z. Okay, all is okay now. So, let's see what we have done in the uh, second tutorial. So, we created a feature, which name is uh, feature quads. Let's copy and paste it in the lesson in lesson 03 uh, and uh, give it a new name we will create a cube using quads so uh, first point is uh, minus one minus one and one on our schema minus my one minus one and one this is our first point I will show you okay this is the first point. First point. Second point, point is 1 minus 1 and 1. 1 minus 1 and 1. This is a second point. So, third point is 1, 1, 1. This is a third point. And this is a fourth point. Minus one, one, and one. This is third, minus one, one, and one. This is fourth. So, okay, this is our front polygon. Let's create uh, another polygon. Let's create top polygon. It consists of our uh, fourth point, third point, and this new point. This will be point number five, and this will be point number six. So, we will use point number four, three, five, and six. So, we can copy. So, this will be top polygon. We can copy four, Let's specify comma four three and new point. So five five we don't have five we don't have five five has coordinates one one and minus one 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 and minus one this is point number five. And point number six has coordinates minus one, one, and minus one. Minus one, one, and minus one. So let's start and check. Let's rotate. Oh, I see something. Ah, we, we need to uh, pass this uh, object to our powerful function function uh, draw feature quads ff which can draw three dimensional objects using quads let's start okay and let's rotate you see that we drawed this top polygon and we also have a front polygon okay so this is a top polygon <coughs> let's create a left which consists of points number one, uh, number one, four, six, and this will be number seven. One, four, six, and seven. It will be one, four, this is six. Six and number seven. Point with the index 
equals to 7 is minus 1, minus 1, and minus 1. Minus 1, minus 1, and minus 1. Let's check. Let's rotate. Okay. We have now polygon for left side. Let's put it right. Right, polygon consists of points number uh, 5, 3, and 2. And this will be 8. So 5, 3, 2, 8. 5, 3, 2, and 8. 8 with values 1 minus 1 and minus 1. 1 minus 1 and minus 1. Let's check. Run. Oh, we need to specify over here. Run. Let's rotate along the x-axis. We see that now we have a top, left, right, and front. Let's close it. Now we need to create a bottom, which consists of uh, points number 1, 7, 8, and 2. 1, 7, 8, and 2. And also let's create a backside. Backside. Polygon which consists of vertexes number 6, 5, 8, and 7. 6, 5, 8, and 7. Let's delete this last column. So let's start and we will see that we have a cube. All polygons have been successfully created. Okay? So this is our three dimensional object. Okay? It is good. So in the next tutorial, I will, sh I will show you how to use colors, uh, and we will uh, color uh, all its polygons to different using different colors. Okay, you can uh, write email uh, to address uh, Leorandi mailroom or g Leorandi gmail.com. Or you can also visit a uh, website layaround.com. And already I have created a Facebook page where I uh, share uh, all these lessons and you can join. And if you join, uh, you uh, will be able to uh, 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 see additional uh, program codes. Uh, you can uh, ask questions uh, in this uh, page, so if you want to access it, to join it, uh, you need to specify uh, www.facebook.com uh, slash uh, Le Orandi, and you will uh, go to this new page. Yeah, okay. So, uh, I'd like to see you uh, here in Facebook. You can write me emails. Okay, see you, bye.